So it's become an annual um, experience for us. We close Thinking Digital with um, a talk from Tom Scott. And every year, he manages to find an even crazier and wackier way uh, to surprise us and delight us. And this year, he is uh, actually going to be joining us via a live link. Tom, can you hear me? Tom? Yes, I'm here. Hello. Hello, Thinking Digital. Hello. Okay, either my earpiece is not working or you guys are really quiet. Hello, Thinking Digital. Hello. <laughs> right. I've had to step outside to do this talk today. Uh, I do hope you don't mind. It's just that the, uh, the Sages Health and Safety team, quite understandably, would not let me do this talk indoors. Uh, I will get to why that is in a couple of minutes, but first, a uh, little bit of background. I don't like having stuff. Uh, I don't like accumulating physical things. Stuff builds up. Stuff is something that you have to deal with, to tidy, to dust, to lug around with you, that you, when you have to move. Um, ideally, I would be able to fit my life into a suitcase. On the other hand, I hoard data. Uh, my email archive goes back to 1999, uh, that being the year when I learned how important backups are. Uh, I have a copy of nearly everything digital that I've ever made since then. But then, digital data is a lot easier to preserve. It takes up no great amount of space. Um, you can make backup copies in a second. All my data is safe in multiple... Absolute last resort, there's a 60 gigabyte file sitting on Amazon Glacier in case someone hits London with an electromagnetic pulse bomb. This, meanwhile, is my hoodie. Uh, it is a Jersey's Activewear Super Sweats hoodie, uh, code 4997M, large, in a colour called Oxford Grey. It is incredibly comfortable, uh, but that's because I've owned it for 10 years and worn it for all of those 10. It was given to me on the 21st of October 2002. Uh, the word on the front, Nordics, refers to the North Dickinson County School, uh, which is in Felch, Michigan. That's not a joke. It uh, actually is the name of the town. <laughs> when I was 17, I spent six months touring around small-town America, and I spent a day at North Dickinson County School, uh, where, among other things, uh, a much gawkier version of me... Uh, can you cue the photo in? Um, a much gawkier version of me uh, did an Ask a British Guy session. And afterwards, the, uh, the person who was showing me around presented me with this Nordics hoodie. I never realised quite how much sentimental value I was attaching to this hoodie. But this hoodie has, has been following me around for 10 years. It's become associated with who I am, to the extent that I somehow look a little bit wrong in pictures where I'm wearing something else. Um, if you've been at this conference in past years, you'll have seen me in this hoodie. It was with me when I went around Australia, uh, all through university, on a, on a submarine in San Francisco. Uh, it was duct taped to a shipping container with me to see if I could walk like Spider-Man. Uh, I couldn't. Um, it was with me when I toured Bletchley Park, uh, catching beads at Mardi Gras, um, standing on the gunnels of a canal boat in uh, um with nothing between me and a 200-foot drop. It was with me when I moved to London, when I took a trip to some abandoned sea forts throughout all the time I was filming a TV show last year. Uh, what you saw there, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully what you saw there, was the last 10 years of my life summed up in a few photos. Um, this hoodie is the only physical thing I have that connects me to that gawky 17-year-old. Um, sure, there are a few things in storage at my parents' house. You can probably find that god-awful shirt I was wearing if, uh, if you were looking for it. But they've not been continuously with me. Nothing has. Nothing at all. There is no other thing I own that links me to that kid from 10 years ago. Uh, they don't make these hoodies anymore, by the way. They haven't done for years. Um, there is a reasonable chance that this Nordics hoodie is the very last one in existence. The trouble is, um, it is too tattered and worn to wear anymore. Uh, it was probably too tattered and worn years ago, but I, I held out desperately uh, for as long as I possibly could. It's beyond reasonable repair. It's been patched up so many times. Now every single bit of stitching is coming apart. Uh, the letters have worn and faded so much that it basically just says Neroiks here now. Uh, the lining is so thin after 10 years under it. I can't throw it away. I realise this. I, I can't throw it away. It's got too much sentimental value attached to it. It, it can't meet a half arse end in a bin somewhere. It's too tattered to be donated and while technically it could be shredded and converted into wiping cloths by some textile recycling company, that doesn't really sit right with me either. The name of this conference is Thinking Digital. And I realise that I, I really do think that way. Um, 
if this was digital data, I could compress it and archive it and look back every now and then when the mood took me, but it isn't. There is no Tron-style digitization ray that, that means I can keep this without also having to store it and keep it around where it'll just turn into stuff. So this talk is my digitization ray. Um, the story that I've told here, the pictures I've shown, the, the emotion behind it is being backed up as well as I possibly can on this camera. Um, I'll put this online. It won't matter if anyone watches it because the story has been told. I can look back. I can remember why this, this thing was, was really important to me without having to keep a, a busted and broken physical object around just because I'm sentimental. This thing here, this will become hoodie.mp4 and it will keep exactly as it is, bit for bit, as long as I keep my backups up to date. So, one question remains. Now I have uploaded my hoodie, uh, what do I do with the body? Um, this isn't a destructive upload, I didn't have to slice it apart to index it, and now I have transferred it to digital. Um, there is still this apparently precious physical object hanging around. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. This is actually coloured water and that there's some clever camera trickery going on here. It isn't, and there isn't. But this is very much a test for me, because until I got to here, to this place, until I had a can of paraffin in my hand, I didn't know whether I'd actually go through with this. I didn't know if I really could believe that I could upload my hoodie to a video file, and then the original, this precious original, would matter anymore. <laughs> the stories we tell, the things that we do, and the memories that we have, either in our heads or in our online backups, they are more important than <laughs> any physical object. This is why I'm here. This is why this hoodie will be a, a ball of ashes shortly, and that is why this conference uh, is called Thinking Digital. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I've been Tom Scott. Good night.